Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about two different tools that I use for um, obsessively tracking my keywords and how I'm doing. And um, I'm just getting ready to make another video where I'm showing the research behind how I check out what keywords that I'm trying to rank for and what I actually physically do, um, maybe with a little plan. Um, but I wanted to show you the two tools I use to monitor my rankings because um, otherwise it would be really, really heinous to try to figure it out. So first off, this is um, a tool that I paid for. So ProRankTracker.com um, and I got a year long um, subscription to it, mostly because I wanted to make sure that I um, committed to this. Like doing your keywords is not a hey, I'm going to trick Google anymore type thing. It's a long-term power play to make sure that you're ranking for the things that you want to rank. So a um, couple things. This is the email report. And so both of the ones that I'm going to be talking about today are um, send you a daily email if you want. I think you can change the frequency. So if you wanted to do it once a week, um, you could. Uh, but so it's, it's nice. It's kind of a good visual. I have 187 terms in there. Um, I had some of them go up. I had more go up than went down. Um, it shows me I got somebody into the top, uh, top 10, top one, oh, top 1%. One um, so somebody moved up. So I have 11 keywords in the top one place, 13 in the top three. Now these are all keywords that I have loaded and I have said are, are of interest to me. So um, that's important to know. This is not a retroactive Google has stopped all that they've stopped telling us which keywords work so now what you have to do is you have to um, find keywords that you want to rank for and then track where your position is and the nice thing about this report is it tells you exactly um, which which um, domain name is ranking for what so that's really good um, I love the visual aspect of this I can take a quick peek this this report is from a different service. It's called Rank Tracker. Um, they approached me after I had um, talked about the other service, and they asked if I'd like to try their service, and I said, sure, I would be happy to. Um, I totally love a different internal piece of that, but I really like this email I get. Um, it will tell me um, that there's no change. I had four move up into the top 100. Um, I don't feel like I have as... Like I can't just splash on and look and visually see it, um, but it's but it's really nice. I like it. Um, I love this. Like so, the top ten that had gains, um, that really helps me to figure out which ones I want to focus on. So like, look at this marketing coach. I went up to sixty seven. Um, I moved up six places. So I'm thinking it would be really really nice to to do more of that, right? Because if I could rank number one. Um, it also helps me to kind of trigger what the things I, I'm going to write about are. Um, it's just, it's really neat and it's kind of cool. And I like that, that feature. Uh, it tells me what loses, which makes me sad. Um, just makes me sad when I lose places. Uh, so not the end of the world. Like if you're going to be obsessed about this and do what I do, you cannot be sad every day when you lose places because you'll lose places every day and gain places every day. Okay, so real quick, this is um, the actual website, and it's nice. Um, this is for Pro Rank Tracker. Um, I like it because it lets you sort by your ranks, so all the things that you're doing. And right now, I have both Google and Bing. I'm going to take Bing off. I left it on for right now because um, I wanted to do this video. But uh, it, all in all, it's not that helpful right i need to rank for google i'm glad i rank for bing but it doesn't at the end of the day matter um this is really a neat one so it'll tell you where you rank for your highest volume keywords so my very first one is um 10,000 10,000 searches a month and i rank for halloween quotes which makes sense i made a i got a lot of um i got a lot of traffic for halloween quotes this year um but it gives you an idea of the highest volumes and then you can start to see where you rank for it. So I rank on page one for the Remax logo, which does get a fair amount of traffic each month. Um, so those are interesting things to note. So I kind of like that. I like that I can do a lot of sorty, sifty stuff. Um, rank Tracker, this I love um, because I have that same kind of ranky thing 
that I can do. Um, it doesn't have, um, I don't know if it has the volume. I've never tried to add it. Um, let's see, can we add something? No, I guess not. Um, so, so that doesn't, that isn't as cool, but what it does have that I totally dig is, um, a visual, same way I can see whether it's gone up or down. Um, you know, this has gone down. Um, this has gone up. Uh, but I love this progression and this is over the last 10 days, you guys. So this is going to tell you over, um, a period of time what has happened. So one-on-one -on -one marketing coaching, I'm going up right? And there's a, um, there's a enthusiasm, there's a motivation, there's something that can go up with that. So if I know one-on-one -on -one marketing coaching is working, I may want to put a new blog post that talks about coaching and include a link to that to help that little, um, that one small post raise up. Because yes, your whole site will raise with with terms, but you want to make sure that the ones that are ranking well continue to rank well. Um, there was one that's doing really well. Free marketing ideas. So this is a really good one that that goes up. Um, now, did it go down? Was that was the problem that it was higher and it went down? I would want to kind of track this, and this is sort of why I pull out reports. Um, so it's important to me to kind of have that historical data. Um, and then this is fun. So like it's peaking up. So Denver business strategy, it's peaking up into the top 100 and then I lost it and then it's coming up. So I'm flirting with that. Um, I'm not sure, not sure that I actually have those words on this page. So one of the things that I can do that we may look at later, um, in a different video, obviously, um, is, is, am I like, do I have that term on there? So let's take a real quick peek. And that was uh, Denver Business Strategy. So that's that exact term. So let's see if I can find it. Do I have Denver? So I don't even physically have that in there. You would have to think <laughs> that I would rank better for it if I got that into that, that, um, that page. So these are where you can find some really good nuggets of... Um, how to increase things in your website. So I know it's super exciting, right? Um, so just real quick to go over, um, I think that I got um, the Pro Rank Tracker. I think I got the bronze um, and I paid annually. So it was a little bit less money. I think if you pay annually, um, if you were to do this as an SEO company, you would obviously have to do it higher. Um, I don't know whether you would want multiple accounts. I've never really tried to do that. Um, affiliate marketing is kind of where I'm going with this. So I want to start to try to rank for some of those smaller keyword terms. So, um, I thought the price was good. I think I'm going to run out like, so I'm going to gain some, right? Because I'm going to take off the bings, but 250 isn't very much. And so now I'm getting into kind of, um, more money and, the API access would only be if you had a programmer doing stuff for you. So don't worry about that. The the rank tracker, which I like the service better, um, I could probably squeak with, with 300 keywords. But the difference is, you guys, that you can print out um, CSV reports and... Um, that that would help if you were an SEO company. So I I think I would definitely go with this one. A um, couple things that I wanted to talk about are I tend to be more of an on the fly kind of gal. I want to be able to add keywords as the mood strikes. Like mine is way more organic and more, oh, I went and checked out my webmaster tools. I want to add it. So you can add, um, add keywords to the pro rank tracker um, it's just not that easy. Like I remember trying to get this set up initially. You can pick all your different, um, search engines. So you have lots of different search engines. Um, but for me working in the United States, really Google's all that counts. Um, you can do local tracking if you want, but I think one of the, 
the things that makes this so nice is the granularity you can get but what makes it not nice for me is it's hard to um, add URLs and search terms and all that I don't think this is a very elegant solution pro rank tracker I could not be happier with so I have my I'm in my marketing artfully domain right if I want to add a keyword so if I wanted to add marketing strategy um, United States I don't track by keyword um, like it's in there <laughs> really and it's gonna start um, checking it it's gonna say oh I checked it and you're not there so marketing strategy is obviously a really high-level keyword it's not one that I would necessarily keep but if you don't shoot high for some of your keywords you're never going to get there so if I can get business marketing strategy wasn't that my Denver business marketing strategy or something like that if I can get Denver business marketing strategy and I can get Westminster marketing strategy and all those um, am I ever going to nationally get it probably not um, but why not try right so um, that's kind of it hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson marketing artfully